Hey uh, hey guys, so today I'm going to be making my 20 kill tutorial on how to get high kill games in solo squads. Um, so yeah guys, let's get right into this. And I just want to say this before we get right into it, I'm not, I'm not a pro at this game, I'm not a professional. I'm, I would just say I'm a smart console player, you know, like who knows how to get high kills. So I've been playing since the start, so I'm quite experienced uh, with solo squads and stuff like this. So this game plays to me, me getting 17 kills. Um, honestly, uh, it takes me probably about... 8 to 10 games to get a good solo squad, like a good 20 plus kill game solo squad, sometimes even longer. Just kind of depends on the start you get. But yeah, I'm going to be giving you guys loads of tips on how to survive and how to do well in solo squads. So yeah guys, let's get into it. Okay guys, so the first tip I'm going to give you guys is high ground. And you guys might be thinking to yourself, okay, high ground, that's just a really simple step. Well, a simple step. I know how to do that, I know how to get high ground, alright? But I'm not speaking about in build battles, okay? I'm just going to show you this clip right here, and as you can see, I'm going to kill this guy, and obviously I knock him down, so I know there's more. And then my first instinct was, okay, I just need to get, I just need to get high ground. I just, that's all I need. If I can get high ground, I can stay above these guys and shoot them when they're coming down. Uh, even if you tower, right, they're they're probably going to shoot you down, okay, but you're still going to be higher than them. And um, yeah, when you're higher than them, when they're shooting you down, you can just get shots off of them. Even 30 damage, 30 damage. That that is a lot of damage in solo squads, in my opinion. Any damage is a lot. As you can see, that they're trying to build up to me. I literally laser them with that SMG so hard. They they literally can't do anything to stop it. Uh, I can't like this is pretty the, the biggest tip in solo squads is to keep high ground and position yourself well. Where you're in a position like if there's a mountain next to you, for example, the mountain in the middle of the map. Uh, if you can get on that mountain and the squads are trying to build up, firstly you're not going to use a lot of materials doing this because you're you've got the high ground on the mountain so you don't need to like build ramps up or uh, like a one by one so that's already a first step you have loads of high ground good positioning because you position yourself in a place where you can shoot them without using a lot of materials and i told my friend black hammer this because i was telling him about you know like he's like struggling with, with like taking out squads so i gave him this tip the next day he goes and gets a 22 kill solo squad so i mean this tip is really useful um let's let's guys let's get into the second tip Okay guys, so my second tip is going to be, um, position yourself, um, good, this is like kind of a high ground, but position yourself about high ground, alright, if you don't, there's no way you can get high ground, then you don't have a lot of mats, like right here, okay, so as you can see in the top right, the storm is coming in, as the timer is going down, and there's two teams, you can't really hear it, but there's two teams on my right, this team who I just take out now, and there's another team, or there's another two teams, like, on my right, right, um, so I position myself on the left side, where I know the storm's gonna come in. So I know these uh, teams are gonna be hitting each other, so they're gonna be weak, and I know they're pushing in from this side. Um, so I'm, I'm not gonna push too much into the storm where I know I'm gonna die. Instead, what I'm gonna do is position myself on the left side, where I know the teams are gonna be coming in, and they should be weak, so that's more kills I can get. And at this rate, I know I'm just know I'm in a really good position where I can hold them off myself, get high ground with materials. And I know I'll make it to the storm, uh, make it to the circle before they will. So that's another good uh, tip right there. Just make sure you know where the when the storm is coming in, and make sure you have enough meds to carry it. And I'm just going to say a little quick tip because this tip isn't like amazingly useful. You always want to carry as much shield as you can, and as much explosives as you can. Explosives will you can take out multiple enemies with one shot of that. For example, RPG, you can literally take out one squad if they're bad players. Um, and another good tip, right, if you see a team of non scenes preferably non scenes like, I like to say they're bad. If you see a team of non scenes if you want high kills, you need to push them. Even if they're, like, from loot late to tilted, you need to push them because that could be four easy kills you get. Uh, so, yeah, so let's get into the next tip. Uh, okay, guys, so the next tip is going to be how to deal with spammers, all right? This this will, will not work all the time. But I know the biggest problem you guys probably get with solo squads is that you have a team who just won't stop spamming you. And for this strategy, I'm going to say you want to save your wood as much as possible. And considering in the latest patch, they've made it, um, walls literally break instantly, like they're two, sh they're two shots, they're pickaxe. Um, the best way to resolve this situation is you literally just want to run away and reposition yourself. So as you can see, they were spamming my roof, so what I'm going to do, I'm literally just going to run away, um, get myself into a position where they can't see me, and I'm out of there like that, like a flash. And now that I'm out of there, they have no idea where I am because they were just spamming me. So, you know, they've, they've, they've wasted all that ammo, pretty all their materials building up to spam me. I repositioned myself, I've got behind them, and now I'm behind the enemy lines, and yep, yeah, they have no idea where I am. But the thing is, though, this strategy won't always work, like I'm saying, because sometimes they, they will be so, so happy to kill you that they're going to follow you over and over, alright? 
Um, so as you can see in this clip right now, I'm using high ground uh, to my advantage. I'm just trying to kill everybody I can without getting shot at. Right there, I make that guy quite weak. Unfortunately, I don't finish him, but you know, you know what I mean. I've just got the high ground. Um, so yeah, guys, let's get into the next tip. Okay, so my next tip is going to be um, finish anybody you can because right, finishing people will stop the other teams. This like again, sounds like an easy tip, but trust me, half the time you won't be finishing people. You just be you would kill one, like knock one down, and you're going for the rest of the squad. And if you're doing this tip where I'm saying finish people, it will literally help you so much. Because if they get a revive, even if he's on 30 health, if you can't get a shot away off that guy, he could he could kill you. Like, he can get, he can spam you, you know. Or he could freaking do anything to you. Like, he can, like, hurt you with a freaking stick in the butt cheek, you know what I mean? That meme. But literally, yeah, bro. <laughs> he can literally, uh, he can screw you over. So just remember to finish everybody you can. Okay, and I want to say another quick thing. Try not to put yourself in a box. Because boxes will literally screw you over now. Because you literally, if four people are shooting at you now when you're in a box, like this here, you will screw yourself over so hard because they can break a wall with two hits of the axe. So just remember that, guys. Do not box yourself. Oh, well, try not to anyway. Try and avoid that. And my next tip is always use your traps to your advantage. Like right now, I'm going to see this guy. I'm going to edit him in. This is a pretty nice edit. And I'm placing my trap. Because one trap can do 150 damage. Like, that is actually ridiculous. It shouldn't, be, it shouldn't do that much damage. And I, in the clip at the start of this video where I'm doing the introduction, I kill, like, three kids with traps. Uh, a lot of people do say to me, not being cocky, but they do say I'm quite good at traps. But it's because I literally, I use them to perfection, alright? Uh, that's the only thing I'm really cocky with, is I'm good with traps. So, always use your traps when you're in a one-by-one -one with someone. Um, this will help very much. And yeah, like I said, guys, finish everybody you can because it will stop them getting revived. And yeah, guys, I'm gonna tell you how to deal um, with being uh, under pressure. So this is a man. This is a major thing, all right. A lot of people say to me, "How how do you get high to games without getting pressure?" And the main thing is right is you just don't you just don't want to care, right? So if I get 20 kills, you know, I'm quite nervous. I'm like, I'm kind of shaking, you know, like like Barnsley where he gets his 14 kill games, he shakes everywhere. But yeah, um, you just you just want to be like. Okay, just so you have to get a 17 kill game, you're gonna be like, oh, I wanted 20, I don't care if I die, kind of thing. You wanna be like, okay, it's only 17, you know. If you want 20 and you want 30, you'll just be like, okay, I wanted 30, let's just go for the 20, you know, let's do this, right? That will, I'm not joking, that will help you so, so much. That's, that's how I, like, pretend not to be nervous, like, that's how I, uh, stay like that. Uh, okay, yeah, guys, and the next step I'm gonna be, be telling you about is rotation. Okay, I'm gonna bring a picture up of the map now. And you're gonna see. I'm gonna highlight the most, uh, the most places people land at, which are Paradise, Retail, no Paradise, Salty, Retail, and Tilted. Now this is the main spot where you're gonna get kills around that mountain in the middle, right? Okay, so just say you landed Tilted, and your bus came in from about uh, the east side of the map. So it's Retail, Salty, and Paradise. You literally want to kill people at Tilted, get a launch pad, touch Rift. And get your ass to that side of the map because when you're on that side of the map, the east side where retail and stuff is, you can sit around that mountain, around that dusty area, and you will literally see so many teams. Now, yeah, so let's get more into that. Okay, so as I was saying about on the east side of the map, there's gonna be all the named locations where you want to be. So yeah, basically, you just want to get uh, get your ass over there because I'm trying to really over exaggerate, but that is where you're gonna be getting all your kills because my 27 kill game. I got like all my kills in salty, and in my opinion, salty is the main like place for kills. Um, so honestly, if you can get a good paradise spawn, right, push straight to salty, because that's a good place where p people are going to be running to the circle through salty because it's near the middle of the map. They're going to be running through there to the circle. So if you rotate around there on that big salty mountain, like you stay around on there, you're gonna have high ground so you can shoot at people, especially that big mi uh, mountain in the middle. That's why I can't like exaggerate that over enough. And you guys are just gonna start learning rotations, especially around loot late. You're gonna start to realise where people are running and stuff. So I can't really go into that in that much detail, but you will start to realise what I'm saying about these um um rotations. It's kind of a thing you have to learn yourself. I learned it by myself and it has helped a lot of people that I've told. So you guys thank you for watching this video. I'm not sure if it's been like incredibly useful. Because my computer is like being really slow for some reason, so I can't really edit it that well. But yeah, I hope this uh, helped. If this helped, guys, leave a like. Let's try and go for 12 likes, no, 15 likes on this video, let's say. And if we do, I'll make a part two and actually like edit it really well. Or try and edit it really well with like much more useful tips and tricks. You guys, thank you for watching this, and I hope you guys have a good day. And you guys, it's been Cross and peace.